Hello and welcome to another drum video lesson. My name is Eitner Mert and today we're going to have some fun with the regular paradiddle. And uh, what we're going to do with that, uh, as you just saw, is um, we're going to accent every third note on top of the regular paradiddle sticking. This is quite interesting. Um, one thing you have to be aware about is that we're not uh, playing in triplets here. Although if, uh, if, if you watch me playing the groove, you might uh, you might think it's based on triplets, but it's a it's actually based on 16th notes. Uh, but uh, an accent on every third note kind of makes it feel like like uh, triplet based, right? So the the whole thing um, is is played in a six four time signature. All right. Okay, let's have a closer look. So one thing you should uh, watch out for is that even when uh, adding the extra accents the, uh, on every third note, uh, make sure you uh, maintain the regular paradiddle sticking pattern, right? So that you, you don't um, move away from that. And the other thing you should watch out for is uh, when, you, when you add the accents, make sure you can hear them uh, nice and loud. They should be uh, about twice as loud at least as the the other notes um, that are that don't come with accents right It would also be a good idea to practice this with a metronome. Just set it on, on quarter notes. Or if you like, uh, let, let's, uh, let's check out uh, how it sounds when you uh, play the quarter notes with your bass drum. Or you could even play with your left foot on, on your hi-hat. Let's check out the bass drum. So now we're going to apply the paradiddle on the hi-hat and the, the snare drum. And uh, when, you, when you play the accents on the hi-hat, um, use the shaft of the stick, uh, lower your hand a little bit and play on the edge of the hi-hat for the accent. And uh, the other notes, play those with the tip on the surface of the, of the hi-hat. And um, what I did in this groove is uh, whenever I was playing a um, uh, an accent on the hi-hat, I was also playing or adding a bass drum together with that. So every time you play a right hand accent, play the bass drum as well. And here's another thing you can add to this groove is um, you, you can open some of the hi-hats if you want to. In fact, you could open any of them. 
So just pick some randomly, maybe maybe one at first and then maybe add a, a second one and, and just play around with that. I also recommend trying to swing the exercise. It'll be quite interesting and uh, just in general, uh, when, when, whenever I work on 16th note based straight grooves or exercises, I almost always practice them with a swung feel as well. So uh, let, let's give that a try. Now this entire exercise is really, really good for, for uh, improving your up strokes and your down strokes. By that I mean um, when you have a ghost note played with the same hand, a ghost note before an accent. Uh, that's a technique that comes in very handy and it's, it's often I use it often in drum and bass music, also in funk music and many other styles. And then um, the reverse motion is an accent followed by a soft note played with the same hand. So these are, are very uh, important exercises I find and, and this uh, paradiddle exercise with the added accents is, is quite helpful in developing uh, a better and more precise uh, technique. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this little exercise. I hope it wasn't too difficult or too easy and I, I hope you had a lot of fun with that. See you next time.